Hey, it's Aggie, and today I'm going to show you how to do a mini accordion book. So, um, if you're new here, my name is Agnes. I'm a full-time artist, art coach, and I love doing these DIY tutorials. So, let's get started. I'm going to turn the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Hey, Linda, just turning the camera down. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate this. I've got a couple of things ready. And let me just explain what I've done so far. And you can use any kind of paper. This could be for watercolor or um, drawing paper or any kind of paper. I have something called, here's some watercolor paper. And it is, um, it comes in the Canson pad. And it is... 11 by 15, you know, those large blue pads of Canson watercolor paper. So what I'm going to do is divide the total length. Hi, Missy. So whatever the total length of your paper is, you basically want to um, have, let me show you on this one. You want to have, first of all, let me show you the book. <laughs> Here's the book that I made. Isn't it cute? Oh, am I upside down? I'm upside down right now, aren't I? Here, this way. Now you can see it. So here's the book. This is watercolor paper. So it's nice and thick. And it really only has a few pages, but it's really cute. This is what I'm gonna show you how to make today. So I'm gonna tell you how to do the cover, but first, um, this is a four inch by four inch page. And if I was doing that size, here's what this was. This was gonna be that size. So this paper, I've got four, 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 four. I've got four um, pieces that size, four by four. I did one strip like that. This was off a sheet of tag board that's 12 by 18. So you may not have a sheet of paper that large. If you've got 12 by 18, this would work. So I have one like this, and I basically just cut three strips four inches long. Um, these two strips have a gluing section on them. And so this is four, 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 plus a one inch strip. And the way this would work is I'm gonna glue these together, and I'm gonna glue these together, and then this glue strip is gonna attach to another set. Okay, so that would be if you have a 12 by 18, and I got to thinking about it, and I realized probably most people don't have paper that's that size. So I decided to go with this size, which is 11 by 15. It's a common, pretty common size pad of paper that you get at Michael's. So anyway, here's what I did. This is 11 by 15. I divided it. I decided that what would work would be a page instead of four by four like this one, three and, what was it again? <laughs> three and a quarter. So this is gonna be three and a quarter by three and a quarter. All right, so I took my page, I did three long strips that are three and a quarter inches wide, and then I measured, I put tick marks. Of course, when you do that, you wanna, you wanna put a tick mark on one end of the paper at three and a quarter and then on the other end and that's where you draw your line to make sure you're square. Now to get my folds, I have put tick marks. So right here you can see I measured at one inch, I put another tick mark at three and a quarter and so on so that I've got four pages that are three and a quarter. Now that I have all of that marked on there, I'm gonna score it and I'm just gonna use this um, nail dotter this probably is too big of a dot on this one, but I'm gonna line up my tick marks that I've put on both ends, and I'm going to score this. Hey, Ron, how are you? And I'm just gonna lightly run this nail dotter across there. Just once is really all you need, and that's gonna help you um, later on when you go to fold this. And these are so cute, these little books. So it's a DIY mini book. 
And hey, if this is your first time here, um, where, are you, where are you watching from, you guys? Let me know in the comments. Just curious. It's Friday afternoon and we're kind of crafting. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> I decided to do this live on my page today. We, Lisa and I were talking about this. Lisa has a watercolor membership. She's got a group of ladies learning watercolor with her. And um, this was her idea, actually, to do a little book. And I said, oh, what if you did an accordion book? And then I remembered I had these. I'm like, I mean, you could do saddle stitch. You could do accordion. This isn't, this isn't full-fledged accordion, but kind of. It kind of is. So I might have needed to score that just a little bit more. Yeah, I don't think I scored enough. Oh, darn. Let me do it again. Sometimes when I'm scoring, what I'll do is um, I'll do this just to kind of get it, get it going, you know, fold the paper that way. It doesn't really matter which way you fold it, uh, as long as you weaken the fibers a little bit by doing a fold, it's gonna, it'll go either way later on. If you need it to go the other way, don't worry, it will. Okay, so that one's ready. Missouri, Missy, I didn't realize you were in Missouri. The show me state. I've gone through Missouri many, many times on my travels. <laughs> my mother was from Arkansas, so every summer we'd go down there and we'd, you know, of course we'd travel through Missouri. So no offense, but it was a little bit of a boring state to drive through. <laughs> it's kind of flat. <laughs> My good friend Trish is in Joplin. All right, so I ran the scorer again, and I'm just doing that quick little fold. And next, I'm going to cut my strips. So you need to have an X-Acto knife. And like I said, you can do this with any size paper. You just need to make sure you allow yourself that, that glue strip. Hey, Marsha, New Jersey. You're from Jersey. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so I've got my scores. Can you see that? Oh, I forgot to turn my camera the wide way. We were just talking about that in the membership, and here I am doing it wrong. I'm saying, I told all the girls, you don't need to do your Facebook Lives vertical anymore, and here I am doing a vertical Facebook Live. That is so funny. <laughs> all right, so let me trim these. That's okay. It works, it does work either way, but they're saying officially that, um, you know, you don't have to do that. I think everybody used to think that you had to do it vertical for Facebook, and supposedly you don't anymore. And if you're gonna repurpose a video, I think it's probably better to have it horizontal. This blade is probably a little dull, and I just, I needed something to cut on, so I grabbed a board. I just grabbed a board I had laying around. Okay, so I'm gonna cut my next strip. So I used to be a graphic designer and I used to do these mock-ups and comps all the time. Of course, that was a long time ago. Way before Cricut machines and even before we had computers. That's how old I am. <laughs> we used to have to send, hi Jamie. We used to have to send out our typesetting at a type house. We had to mark everything up, tell them what font to use, what size, letting. Oh my God, it took forever to do type markup. Ugh. I gotta tell you, I loved it when I realized I could do my own typesetting. It was kind of sad all the typesetters went out of business. A lot of them turned into pre-press houses, you know. All right, anyway, okay, so now I've got my strips. Um, so here are my three strips, and these are called signatures in the publishing industry. <laughs> so this would go like this, and oh, when you fold these, you want to make sure they're lined up. You want to have some kind of a folder like this. Some people use what is called a bone folder. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it in half first, so I'm not really looking at, at lining this up. I'm looking at lining this up. 
so that it's square. So I'm gonna make sure this paper is square and I'm gonna press that fold. Now this goes back this way. Again, I'm making sure that it's square and then I hit the fold. Turn it back this way, make sure it lines up. Okay, so there's one signature kind of ready to go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue inside here so this, is, this becomes one page of my book. So here's the example, <clears throat> one page of my book. And it's nice and thick. I think this would be good for kids, you know. Or maybe this would be a really, um, a really nice birthday card to give to somebody, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, hi, Lo Lothar Spear. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Lothar is a fabulous artist. I'm honored that you're watching my video. Okay, so here's one signature. Let's do another. Here's another strip. Same exact thing. We're going to line this up. This is crafting. I don't normally do videos with crafting, but sometimes on a Friday, crafting is where it's at. Right, my peeps? Oh, this one, did, I didn't even score, did I? Yeah, no, I did. Okay, here. But the score wasn't very strong. Okay, here we go. That one, now this one. Again, make sure, make sure it's square. Really comes in handy having that. Yeah, show me state. Okay, and then I'm gonna also do the glue flaps. Now, I've got three that I'm gonna to put together. I don't need to have glue flaps on all three. I need to have one without glue flaps. So I'm gonna cut the glue flaps off of this. This will be the one that goes in between the two with glue flaps, if that makes sense. And um, so I'm gonna cut this off right here. Again, this knife, I need to change out my blade. And of course, you always want to use a metal uh, straight edge for this sort of thing. Or, you know, you could, I, I mean, this, you can't really use your paper trimmer for this. You know, the thing where you stick it in and do the, and it doesn't really work for this. <laughs> All right, fold this over here. Looks good. We just watched that Johnny Depp movie uh, with uh, Dillinger, where he plays Dillinger. He, he can play just about any role, that guy. I swear. I don't know how old that, that movie is, though. And then um, the other day we watched an Adam Sandler movie. Oh, my goodness. He's ne I've never seen him in a movie like that. It was like a little too intense. Where he's a New York jeweler and he has a gambling addiction. Oh, my God. It was, it was, oh, it was kind of gut-wrenching. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Okay, so I've got three signatures here, two of them with glue flaps, one inch glue flaps, and one without. My pages are going to be three and a quarter by three and a quarter. It's going to be a cute little book. So now what I want to do is um, I'm going to show you how to set up the cover. Okay, so if you look at this, I've got this cute little cover on here, right? This is just scrapbooking paper. And um, that's what we're gonna set up. Now you you can, um, oh, I didn't do the, the thick binding on this one, but that's okay. So um, hopefully that'll work. Oh, I didn't think of that. So here's what you need to think about. You need to put your signatures together and see how, how fat they are. So let's do that. One, two, three. So by the time I get all of these put together, oh my goodness, that's pretty fat. So I need to have this thickness to my cover. So I messed up, I didn't make this that thick. So I'm gonna kind of, no, I don't need 
So it's gonna, I'm gonna measure inside of here. It's probably gonna be a quarter inch. I need to allow myself at least a quarter inch. Okay, so how do I do that? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use this as my, um, my cover stock. It's all gonna be covered. No one's ever gonna see this. You could even use a cereal box for this part. And I know that this is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So that together that makes six and a half inches long. Plus I need another quarter inch for my, my um, spine. That's what I forgot to do. Don't forget about your spine. <laughs> so, all right, let's do that. Let's mark it off right here. So I'm gonna go three and a quarter plus a quarter and then another three and a quarter. Oh wait, actually I want the cover to be a little bit uh, larger than the page, just a little bit. So I'm gonna, instead of three and a quarter, I'm gonna make it three and three eighths. And then I'm gonna add my quarter inch spine and then three and three. So I added um, an eighth of an inch to my page size. Okay, so I'm gonna do that down here. Three and three eighths, quarter inch, and then another three and three eighths. Then I need to measure this way, three and three eighths in on two locations so that it's square. I'm not using a T-square. This is how you get around if you don't have a T-square. <laughs> I used to, I used to have a drafting table years ago. All right, so now I'm gonna cut this out. And uh, let's see. Cut a straight line here. Cut a straight line here. All right, so here it is. Now I'm gonna do a fold on the spine, I think. I'm gonna score the, the spine. Just gonna score it. Don't cut it, just score it. All right, good, good, good. And then I'm going to fold that. Make sure it's square. Okay, so there's my, my inside, my cover, right? With the spine. Then I'm gonna put some paper on top of this. And this is going to be my cover paper. So I need to cut that a little bit larger. So I'm just gonna lay that on here. Make sure I have it right side up. I guess it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna basically allow myself an extra half inch all the way around. So I'm gonna stand up and do this. Um, all right, let me mark it off. Something like this and this, right? Doesn't have to be real accurate. I'm gonna cut this. And then I'm gonna cut this. So I'm gonna show you how to glue the cover. So the last thing left to do really is to just do all the gluing. So hang with me if you can. If you can't, that's okay too. I will, um, I'm gonna keep going. I understand you guys might be, um, anybody commuting home, anybody back at work? All right, so this is how you do this. You lay this on here and we're gonna glue this on there and we're gonna cut the corners this way and, and glue it over. So first I'm just gonna glue it right on there. 
And I've got myself just some tacky glue. Hopefully this will come out of here. I should have had the bottle upside down. <laughs> hey, Ann, how are you? We're making a mini book. Okay, glue, come on out. Hmm. Wow. All right, when that happens, I think I have another bottle. This is a newer bottle, but it's really big. Um, I'm washing dishes. <laughs> okay, you're washing dishes. Are you still, um, anybody still isolating? Oh my goodness, this stuff gets so thick. It doesn't want to cooperate, does it? Come on now, come out of there. Wow. Okay, I didn't think this was gonna happen, but um, let's see. I don't think I have anything else. I don't think I have any school glue I could grab. So hold on. Oh, maybe that was just stuck. It had a... <laughs> God, please come out. Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, so now <laughs> we're gonna kind of distribute, I'm gonna use this to kind of just spread this around on here. Oh, I might need more. Glue, glue, glue. All right, I'm gonna say that's good enough. Put this on here. And just kind of press it down nice and firmly, All right? You can also do the, it's kind of good to have another piece of paper as like a scrap, which of course I don't have, in case the glue comes out, but I'm gonna use this to kind of really push that glue, right? And so that's gonna be ready for the next step. I'm gonna cut these corners like this, and I'm gonna fold this over. Right? It's a little off, but that's okay. So I'm gonna put glue in here and fold these over. And don't worry, this doesn't have to look perfect because we're gonna glue another piece of paper inside of here to cover all this. So I'm just gonna go around this with my glue. And then we fold this over. Fold this over. And you might have to kind of press and manipulate this just a little bit. You also might want to um, practice folding your spine. You know, you kind of need to get um, the cover paper to bend as well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a really light score once again on this this additional. Um, 
paper that I just added. So I'm scoring on the folded over paper. Now that's gonna fold nice and crisp, okay? All right, so that's not too bad. It's, it's still wet. It'll get kind of stronger and stiffer as it dries. Okay, so that's my cover. Now I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna go back to my signatures. Let's make some room here. And it's probably a good idea to have something covering your table so you don't get a gluey mess all over the place. <laughs> all right, so here's the signature. Here's one of my signatures that's got glue flaps. And so the way this is going to work is um, I'm going to glue these, the inside of these two pages together, right? Glue the inside of these two pages together. And then this glue flap is going to attach to this inside cover right here. And then later on, I'm going to cover this part up so nobody sees this. So that's the first thing we need to do. We've got one signature with a glue flap. I'm sorry, we have two signatures with glue flap. And we have one without. So obviously, this is the middle signature, right? So let's start with this one. Hello, hello, you guys. I'm just making a mini book, and this is something anybody can do. It's Crafting Friday with Aggie. <laughs> All right, so I've got my Aileen's Tacky Glue, because Aileen is so tacky. And I'm just going to squeeze this out and don't ignore the uh, obscene sounds that my Aileen's glue bottle makes. Come on out of there. I almost feel like putting this in a dish and adding water and brushing it on. Ay ay ay. Or, you know, get myself a good old bottle of Elmer's, right? Oh my goodness. This is like um a lot of work squeezing this out of here. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna fold that to that. And I'm gonna have to work quickly because I have to sneak that glue flap in here. Yeah, hold on, I gotta, I gotta work quickly. Okay, I hope I did this right. I may not have. Okay, this and this, right? Now, this has to go in here. So let me put some glue on here. And I have to get that inside of here. <laughs> All right, so we wanna make sure it's lined up and that it'll fold. Get this back together here. All right, so that looks pretty good. I gotta do it on the other one now. So I'm gonna get this other one and get this glue flap into this signature right here. So I got to open this back up and get this guy in there. All right, so here we go. Get this in here. Make sure it's going to line up and fold and all that good stuff. Yes, 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 I think it will. <clears throat> All right, so I've got my first two pages right there. Of course, I still need to kind of pinch them, but you can see how I attached 
these two pages to these, right? This signature is attached to those two other signatures now. Cool, cool, cool. So let me do this. You know, and you can you can un, unfurl this as much as you need to and, you know, really get a nice, good um, seal going. I really want to make sure that glue is nicely um, distributed inside of there, and I think that worked. Now I'm going to do it on this one. Now, if this was a, gel, a watercolor paper, I would put a um, piece of tissue over this so that I wouldn't ruin it. But this is a nice, sturdy tag board, so I don't mind. All right, so that's that. This signature is now attached to these two signatures. Now, I need to put the glue inside of these two pages and these two pages, right? So let's do that. Get my Aileen's Tacky Glue. Hey, Kelly, how are you? And I'm gonna squirt some glue in right here. Let's see. Doesn't really matter which side you put it on, by the way. So is anybody driving home from work? Did any, who, who, went, who left the house to go to work today, anybody? Or are we all still working from home? Okay, that, and so you just fold it over and, and just, um, you know, use your bone folder or use, you know, your squeegee to get that glue to make contact all throughout. You're gonna need to poke a bigger hole in this glue bottle, right? Okay, it is that big. Okay, there's that one. Fold this over this way. And again, anytime you're doing that, you wanna, you know, you wanna make sure it all looks square still. All right, so there's that one. Now we're going to do the other side. So I'm going to put the glue here. It doesn't really matter which page. These two need to glue together and these two need to glue together. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem, Lisa. Watch the replay later. I think you get the gist of it. You basically just create your, you know, cut your signatures, create your cover, then glue and then we're gonna assemble the whole thing. And you know, you start by using whatever paper you would like. And um, like I said, you divide it, you know, figure out mathematically how you would get four um, sections out of it plus a one inch glue flap. That's what I did with this. I had 18 inches and I figured out four, 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 plus a one inch and a one inch on each end. I have one strip like this with glue flaps. I mean, I, I have two strips like this with glue flaps. And then I have one like this without the glue flaps. And that's the middle signature. So, and then, you know, there's a million other ways to do this, but you know, this was just what I came up with. You know. Okay, there's that one. And then here's my last page I'm gonna glue. And this is kind of thick watercolor paper. This is 140 pound watercolor paper. So um, it is a little bit bulky. I need to have one of those holders so that this holds the, <laughs> the glue bottle upside down. <laughs> I'm getting a little work out here for you guys. Ugh. Come on now. Aileen's glue is not cooperating with me. Okay, here we go. All 
I've got other glues. I just ran out. Okay, there's that one. Fold it over. And voila, we have a book. All right, so we have a book, right? We've got all these pages, and then we've got two glue flaps. We're gonna go back to our cover here. Here's my cover. And guess what we do now, guys? <laughs> We're almost there. We are almost there. We're gonna put we're going to glue this in here and I made my cover just slightly larger than um, than my pages. So I'm just going to, again, get my glue out. Oops. Put it right here on my glue strip. And I could put it on the spine too, I suppose. And I've got some, I went at Dollar Tree, I got these cute little clips that I'm gonna clip all this together. Oops. Oh, did I just hit that? Look at these, I got these at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna clip all of this together. I have more clips on the other table. Um, and let it dry. You could also just put a heavy book over the whole thing. Putting my glue on here. I could also put the glue along this spine here. You don't want to go too crazy with the glue. I could put it in here. Maybe I'll put it, um, set that down. I'll put some glue on the spine inside my cover. So I just put a little strip in there. All right, here we go. We're ready to put the pages in. Got to kind of make sure you have them centered and squeezed together. You might have to kind of hold this for a few minutes. Of course, it's going to be hard for me to tell if I have it centered. It's just a little bit thicker than my cover. So it's a good thing that I made it larger. kind of push that in there but you know it is a handmade thing so doesn't have to be perfect and probably if I were to um, have let this really if I were to squeeze this and let this dry first it probably would fit even better in here but okay so I'm going to use this to Get that in there. Yeah, it's a little bit better now. Get it all lined up and then we're gonna clip it. Clamp it, clip it, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna clip it there and right here. Hopefully you've got something to clamp it with. Um, the other thing you might do too, these clamps might put a crimp or fold in there so you could actually protect your um, cover first with a piece of tissue or another a piece of copy paper because I can actually see where this just actually made a little impression in there. And so that is it. The last step would be to... Um, you know, I would let this dry first. The very last step would be, I'm gonna take, um, let's use this piece that I was a scrap before when I made a mistake. Originally, I forgot to include the measurement for the spine thickness, but I can cut this out and use this in the inside, or you can use an alternate, um, an, an alternate um, paper in, for your inside front cover. On this one, 
you can see I used the same paper inside. And if you look really close, you can see how it's trimmed along there, right? So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna measure, um, I'm probably gonna measure, well, it's three. I'm gonna try and just go under three and a quarter. Just a hair under so that it'll actually fit in there, right? So again, I'm gonna measure it out. And that's basically it. Does this, does this look like something you guys would do? What do you think? Or are there some other paper crafts that you'd like to see me show you? Let me know in the comments. Anybody still there with me? You guys still here? I'm gonna fold these this way. I'm gonna cut two at the same time. Yeah, it's really fun. I think this would be a, f a cute thing for kids to make too. Are, are you, Missy, are you the school teacher, an art teacher? I forget now. I think you are, right? <laughs> no, oh, I'm thinking of someone else. I think she was from Canada. Oh, I just lost my tick marks. Oh, no, I still have them. I'm kind of being lazy about the way I'm doing this. You can barely see my tick marks. And of course, I couldn't find a cutting board big enough for all this. <laughs> so I'm using a piece of wood, which isn't the best thing. You know, sometimes you got to improvise, right? Okay, here's the other one. Now, I'm going to have two pieces that are three and a quarter by three and a quarter, right? I'm going to go back to this guy. I'm going to see if I can just go ahead and... No teacher here, but I have grandkids. Yes, I have grandkids too. I have two little ones. All right, so I'm gonna take the clamp off. This is pretty cute, I gotta say. I think it is pretty cute. Their first book. And look how much better it looks when you put that in there. It's gonna look so much more finished, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and put glue on the back. Let me make sure this one's gonna fit back here. Yep, I think so. I mean, I do have a little bit of this showing. So what you could do, if you remember, is you could trim it at an angle, a slight angle, you know, like a slight triangle. But I'm not going to worry about it. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'm not going to be that perfectionistic. Which is, um, I used to be that way. <laughs> I don't have time anymore. All right, let's see if we can get this out of here. And especially if it's a kid's book, they're never going to notice. But wouldn't this make, wouldn't this be a great birthday um, present to give somebody? And on each page, you can tell them how much you love them. Right? Wouldn't that be awesome? Boy, I would sure be so honored if I got something like that. All right, there's one. Uh, here's another one. Um, the other thing you can do, I didn't show it, but you could glue some kind of string inside of there. Or actually, I could probably run a string through there 
and have something hanging, you know, like some beads or, or something like that, um, like I did on this one. So this is a different kind of um, assemblage. Um, now I'm forgetting what this is called, saddle stitch. This is called the saddle stitch book. So this is just drawing paper. And, um, you know, I punched holes. You, you, you do your signatures, you do your cover. This was with a cereal box. This is just scrapbook paper on top of a cereal box. And then I got my papers all lined up. And what you do is you get them lined up perfectly and you clamp them together. You, you get something to hold them so they won't move. Then you poke the holes, you figure out, measure where you want the holes, and then you run your yarn through there. And you can look up um, a YouTube video on how to do this stitching. I think you start in the middle and you stitch out and then you stitch back and back to the middle again, something like that. Make sure you have extra string. And then these are paper beads that I stuck on the end of that. But wouldn't that be cute? This being, um, you know, twinkle, twinkle, little star. It would be really cute to have a little star dangling off of a, of a string, you know. I might see if I can find something to do that with. So this one's really cute. I'm gonna put this in the front. Try and get it centered here. Oh my goodness, that looks so cute. And then here's the other one. So I'm not opening the book all the way yet. I'm letting, because this glue is not dry enough. So I'm being very gentle with it right now. So here's my other page. My other, I'm gonna stick that in there and use my squeegee. This squeegee thing worked really great. I've got this on Amazon. Um, it's by 3M. It's like a burnisher. And um, so I just burnished that one down. There is a little bit of glue that seeped out. And if that happens, don't rub it too much. Just let it dry. And later on, you can come back and use what's called a rubber cement pickup or maybe um, a kneaded rubber eraser and just gently lift the pieces of glue out of there. But if you try doing it now, while it's wet, you're just gonna make a mess. All right, so we've got, we've got the inside, um, inside front cover, paper glued in, inside back cover, paper glued in to hide our glue flap. And now it's still wet, I can feel it. I'm just gonna go back to my clamps and um, clamp all of this down. And I would just, you know, let it dry for, uh, you know, a day. And then you're good to go. So that's it. That's how you do a mini book. Um, it, you know, it's easier with thinner paper. I will say that. And, uh, I mean, you could use drawing paper and it would, it would fold a lot easier. All of it would fold a lot easier, but... I wanted to do watercolor paper. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to see more of these, follow my page. If you know of anybody that might be interested in this cute little craft book, be sure and share it with them. And if you like this, do me a favor, click the wow, um, is it the, the wow face. <laughs> click the little wow below and let me know what you thought of this. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next time. Bye-bye.